Why Narcissists Undergo a Drastic Shift When Losing Their Empath Greetings, Amazing Souls If you've ever been caught in the intricate web of a narcissist's manipulative cycle, you know just how emotionally draining it can be. But what happens when empaths gather the courage to break free from this relentless cycle? How do narcissists react when they lose their empathic counterpart? Today, we're peeling back the layers and revealing 10 things that happen to a narcissist when they lose their empath. Whether you've experienced this journey firsthand or seek insights into these dynamics, you're in the right place. But before we dive into the intriguing details, let's foster a supportive environment by showing some love. Hit that like button to let us know you're here for this transformative conversation. And if you're new to our channel, consider joining our empathic community by subscribing and ringing the bell for regular doses of understanding and empowerment. Now let's embark on this enlightening exploration of empaths breaking free from narcissistic cycles. Your thoughts and experiences matter, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. Are you ready for this eye-opening journey? Let's dive in together. Number 1. Things Get Messy Breaking up with a narcissistic partner can lead to some messy situations, both emotionally and physically. They don't handle breakups well and might resort to stalking or harassment. They could even pull dramatic stunts like crying loudly or damaging your stuff just to get attention. And they might do it all in public to make sure you're constantly thinking about them. As an empath, you might feel guilty, but is it really your fault? Number 2. They show they've moved on. Narcissists can't seem to move on without making sure you know about it. If they truly loved you, finding a new partner wouldn't be such a calculated move. But because they rush into new relationships just to make you feel bad, it's clear their love wasn't genuine. At first, this hurts, but once empaths realize the truth, it's the narcissists who end up looking foolish, living without real happiness. They don't want empaths to see how much they rely on them so they act tough to hide their insecurities. Number 3. Hunting for attention Narcissists think they're the masters of relationships, but they're more like parasites feeding off empaths. When empaths finally break free, narcissists struggle to find someone new to latch onto. They desperately seek attention, often finding another empath to prey on. They hate being alone. But what happens when they can't fool another empath with their sob story? Number 4. Filling the Void Dealing with a narcissist is like dealing with someone who's emotionally empty. They'll do anything to avoid facing their true selves, even if it means mistreating empaths. When empaths stop giving in, narcissists resort to rage and manipulation to keep them around. But empaths aren't easily fooled, and once they decide to leave, there's no going back. Number 5. Playing the Victim Leaving a narcissist can mean dealing with their social media pity party. They'll post about how devastated they are, hoping to get sympathy and paint you as the bad guy. They turn the breakup into a public show, making it hard for you to tell your side of the story. As an empath, how do you handle it when your ex is playing the victim online? Number 6. They boast about their good deeds. Narcissists love to brag about all the good things they've done, hoping it'll keep empaths hooked. They might act like they're the most amazing people, charming and helpful, even empathetic. But here's the catch. Their actions rarely match their words. Empaths can usually sense something's off. Sure, narcissists might show compassion and love, but it's often just for attention and praise. When they start listing all the nice stuff they've done for you, remember, true kindness doesn't come with a tally sheet. It's about giving without expecting anything in return something narcissists don't get. Number 7. They try to reconnect, even years later. Narcissists love rekindling old flames, thinking it'll make their love stronger. After years apart, they figure empaths will be more willing to put up with them. It's like they enjoy testing how much they can get away with. They keep coming back, thinking empaths will always welcome them. But as an empath, do you really want to fall for the same tricks again? Number 8. They make empty promises. Narcissists are pros at making promises they never keep. Their words lack sincerity, and they're more focused on what they can get out of it. If you're looking for a genuine connection, don't get fooled by their empty words. 
Narcissists only care about themselves and will say anything to get what they want. Number 9. They scheme to win you back. Narcissists can't handle losing control, especially over someone who adores them. Even if they've hurt you in the past, they'll do whatever it takes to get you back. They'll come up with elaborate plans to convince you they've changed. But as an empath, can you really trust a narcissist to change? Number 10. They use put-downs to control you. When narcissists don't get their way, they act like spoiled kids, throwing tantrums and trying to make you feel small. They'll insult you and question your worth to manipulate you into doing what they want. But empaths know their value and won't let a narcissist control them. As we come to the end of this video, I want to invite you to share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Dealing with a narcissistic ex trying to re-enter our lives can be challenging, but your stories can offer support and guidance to others facing similar situations. If you're seeking more guidance on navigating these complex dynamics, don't forget to check out the free book and consider a one-on-one -on -one consultation, both linked in the description. Your emotional well-being is important, and I'm here to support you on your journey. And if you found this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from it. Your support helps us grow our community and reach more people who need this information. Until our next conversation, take care, and remember that you're not alone.